Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you are fine with the grace of the Almighty God. So, students, as we know that we have completed our previous chapter, that is chapter four, and now we are in the chapter five, and this is from social and political life. And our topic number uh, of the chapter is chapter five from the social and political life. And topic of the chapter is Panchayat Raj. Okay, so. As we note that before going to start the explanation of the chapter, what we are going to learn in this chapter is about the levels of the local government, then functions and the importance of the local government, and interconnectivity between the levels of the local government. Okay, so let's get started. That what are the first step to say this chapter is that we would you uh, who would you contact if you want a bigger cupboard for your classroom? Principal of your class school or class teacher, do you think to whom you will contact? If you want a bigger cupboard for your classroom, okay. Actually, students, the answer will be what you know, the class teacher. Okay, the class teacher is the in charge of the class. Okay, the school principal is the is the in charge of, of overall school. Okay, so we are we asking from whom the class teacher. Just a class teacher is more familiar with the needs and the problems of the students in our classroom. Okay, the government at the local tends to know the and understand the problem and the needs of the pupil better as compared with the government sitting as far off place. You see, look uh, if you say about the central government. Okay, if you speak about the central government, then what we can understand is that the central government is looking after the whole India. Okay, the central government is looking after the whole India, but is the central government is able to look us directly? No, the central government is not looking us directly. It is looking in the indirect way. Like for example, for for example, you say about the prime minister. Okay, the prime minister of India. The prime minister power is given to the chief minister. The chief minister has distributed his power to the DCs. All the other ministers and the DC, that is deputy commissioners, then the deputy deputy commissioner under you can see SPs are there and police personals are also there. And in the local sense of government, there also comes the ward commissioner, panchayat, okay, gangura, okay. So these are there. <laughs> so in this India, the local government functions separately in the rural and the urban areas. In this chapter, we will study the local government in the rural areas in detail. So in the chapter we are going to study about the local areas and the rural areas in a detailed way. So let's get started with the panchayat raj. Okay, the system of the governance in the rural areas is known as the panchayat raj. What is panchayat raj? The system of governance in the local area or the rural areas in the gaon area. That is village area is known as a panchayat raj. Okay, in the village area rule is known as a panchayat raj. Again, once I am repeating, the village area rule is known as a panchayat raj. Okay, so next you see the panchayat raj consists of three levels of government. The panchayat raj consists of three levels of government. The first level, which is told here, the first level, okay, is the gram panchayat. The second level is the is the panchayat samiti or chilapat panchayat and the district panchayat or chila parishad, okay, or the chila parishad. Next, the gram panchayat works at the grassroots level of the village level. Okay, the village level. The gram panchayat is the local government for the village. Okay, for the village, in the village, if you get any kind of problem in the village, if you face any kind of problem, then you have to contact to the gram panchayat. Okay, that is, it is in the grassroots level. It is way, it is the formation where the means if you if local people wants anything, then what to whom they will ask to the gram panchayat. The panchayat samiti works at the block level. The jila parishad works at the district level. So the panchayat samiti is there at long works at the block level, and the jila parishad works at the district level. The district level is the head one who is working the particularly district. All the district it is looking out. Okay. So next we will discuss about the gram panchayat in gram in village of India. A gram sabha or a gram panchayat and a nia nia panchayat and show the smooth functioning of the village. Okay, Nya Panchayat. These are the you can say now we are going to discuss in detail what is Gram Sabha, the Gram Panchayat. Okay, and its function and composition we will study. So let's get started with the Gram Panchayat. The Gram Sabha consists of all the men and the women of 18 years of age 
or above who live in an area covered by panchayat. Now you see, who are the members of the gram panchayat? The uh, person, okay, the person who are 18 years of age, okay, who is able to vote is the member of gram panchayat, okay, is the member of what? Gram panchayat. It means regularly to ensure the development and the cooperation in the area. What is the this is written is that it means regularly the needs of the demands of the people are studied regularly. Okay, it is the most important part of the gram panchayat. And we should know that this is the very important part of the what gram panchayat. Okay, this is very important part of what gram panchayat. Functions, if you say, then the functions of the gram panchayat are as follows. It is mentioned here that elects the member of the gram panchayat discusses the important problem at the needs of the village, okay? The functions, what? What are the things they are going to do, okay? What are the things they are going to do? These are the functions, you can say, that elects a member of the Gram Panchayat, that will be the member, what work they will be doing, okay? What, after after becoming, as you see, that if I am a Panch, okay, if I am the head, head of the, the village, then what will be my responsibility? That to meet the requirements, to meet the, meet the needs of the people of the particular village, okay, discusses the important problems and the need of the village. It will discuss the problems and the need of the each and every pupil, okay, and the village, okay, approves the development and the plan solution to the pro problems put forwarded by the Gram Panchayat. It will approve the plan. If suppose, if you need train, okay, or road, if you need training system, road system, water system, then we will say to whom? To the Gram Panchayat Samiti, okay? Then the Gram Panchayat in return, they will work hard, okay? In order to give you the facility, what you are asking for, okay? Because their, their demand is what? For what reason it was set up? Because of the fulfill, fulfill your demands, okay? For to fulfill your demands, it was set up, okay? Now you see that the functions, it is very important to, you know, that that the approves the development plans and the solution of the problem put forward with the ground the chat as we have studied and I have explained you then monitor the uh, the activities of the ground panchayat and prevents it from the misusing his power and the money you see so it will look after the ground panchayat will look after the plans of the government suppose a government is saying that he will uh, make this road okay and it has been you can say one year the government is not making the road. So the Gram Panchayat and the Gram Samiti will work hard to bring the government plan into effect, okay, that the road should be built up. Understood? That the road should be built up. Will, they will pressurize the government that to make the road, okay. Forms, forms committees such as the construction committees to carry out the certain tasks, the collaboration with the members of the Panchayat. They will form make a member, they will make a group. Okay, that will work for different purpose. That will work for different purpose. You can say, and this, uh, uh, these members will be made out of the panchayat groups only. Gram panchayat. The gram panchayat consists of the members elected by the gram sabha. A gram panchayat may be constituted for the one big village or two or more small villages together. A gram panchayat may consist of the one big village or two or more big villages together it forms. Okay, the next composition we will study. If you study the composition of the gram panchayat, the composition in the composition of the gram panchayat, we will come to know that the gram panchayat consists of the sarpanch who is the head of that particular area. Okay, the sarpanch along with the elected members of the panchayat secretary in the gram panchayat okay there will elected member of the secretary with the gram panchayat head will be there okay one third seats are reserved for women and some other reserved for the for the or some you can see members of the scheduled caste scheduled tribes there will be reservation also okay the gram panchayat is elected for the period of how many years for the Five years it is important and it has got different functions. Okay. And Sarpanch and the Panch, you can say. Okay. Sarpanch and the Panch. Every village Panchayat consists of the smaller areas, formerly known as wards. I told you, right? 
suppose for example if i say okay for example if i say you you take a particular area a small village you can say okay a small village you can say there will be what there consist of the ward ward will be there that is ward suppose if one area that will be ward number 10 another area ward number 11 so <coughs> if you stand for election okay if you stand for election purpose and if the all the people has given you vote and you will become the what ward commissioner suppose anusha won the election anusha will be the ward commissioner of what a particular area okay you will be the ward commissioner of a particular area ruhina also will be the ward commissioner of particular area mahesabi okay so uh, yeah, this one what called uh, anand mir also will be the ward commissioner so any person can become the ward commissioner with the help of the voting okay but you age should be what above 18 years then only you will be able to vote it okay and choose the who will be your head okay every village panchayat consists of the smaller areas formally known as a what wards okay each of these wards elects as a representative to serve the panchayat these representatives are known as a ward members of the panch the panch are headed by the sarpanch and this panch is headed by who sarpanch is the that is bigger than the panch that is what sarpanch in our area we are saying is chairperson chairman okay chairperson we are saying down of the chairman chairperson what commissioners are working okay down of the chairman or chairperson what commissioner are acting the panch are headed by sarpanch and the sarpanch presides over by the meeting of the panchayat and the gram sabha okay the sarpanch will be made with the help of the meeting and the gram sabha okay uh, now wherever the meeting will be there okay he will be the head of that meeting okay this sarpanch will be the head of presides the head of the meeting of the now he will be in charge of the meeting preside means to be the in charge of the meeting okay now panchayat secretary we will study okay panchayat secretary the uh, panchayat secretary is appointed by the government he or she is responsible to call the meetings okay of the gram sabha and the panchayat record the proceedings of the meeting record the development activities performed by the panchayat prepare a budget and advise the villages on the matters of health education farming etc so the panchayat there will be meeting will be there there will be series of action which will be taken here suppose somebody has stolen somebody thing from their house now they will come go to complain where to the panchayat in the village okay they will go to complain in the panchayat according to the panchayat what is whatever the decision it has taken or it will take that person needs to follow that okay if he wants to stay in that village okay so panchayat secretary i was studying okay it was looking after different actions it has also got some functions you can say okay the gram panchayat is responsible for implementing the development programs in its village it undertakes the following activities now gram panchayat has so many activities whatever the activities it is done the gram panchayat it is mentioned in the down which i am going to read and i will explain you constructing and maintaining the of the public facilities such as roads and the street lights it will make the roads and the street light for the people okay as you can see that the street light at night okay if any street light is becoming bad then the who is responsible for it the government is making it means all right okay now we it is our duty to not to means make bad to this thing we should uh, uh, some people boys are also there girls are also there throwing stones and breaking out the street lights that should not be done okay provisions of the education health care facilities by setting up the schools and the dispensaries there should be there should be you know uh, education in the education there should be schools and the uh, and the, some dispensaries should be set up construction and the maintenance of the water sources such as the village wells and the hand pumps should be there okay the election of the taxes imposed on the houses shops land etc should be there maintenance of records of birth and that should be there he is only the person who is issuing this all okay then implementation of the employment generating schemes of the government he is implementing the different schemes which is in, uh, which is comes from the government okay and also you know there is the, there will be maintenance of the cleanliness and the hygiene in the village should be looking up if an area will be made dirty 
is it is duty to call the laborers which were which is given by the government and he will make it clean okay he or she prevention of the practice such as the caste based and the gender based discrimination to ensure the social justice in the village will look after this or she will look after this matter so sources of income if you say that the gram panchayat gets money from the following sources to discharge the function allotted to it okay to means uh, to give the uh, information to do the things completely a duty for whatever the government has given what are the duties and the functions which are given by the sources of income which are government now you see suppose you are staying in a village okay in a year you are required to pay 50 rupees for the cleaning work now this 50 rupees will be collected as a whole and will be kept for maintaining the roads okay cleaning the drainage system clean giving you the electricity okay tolls and everything okay tax imposed on the house and the shop lands etc some some areas like government land you know you know suppose this side only if you say or this side the government properties are there the government may make some houses and give rent to the common people in order to do the business in return they will take the money and they will use that money for the development purpose okay funds granted by the government schemes and the receipt from the panchayat samiti and the jila parishad okay fines collected from the people they will keep okay they will collect the fine suppose if if, if anybody is wear, uh, riding bike without wearing helmet they will collect the fines and they will use this fine for development purpose only or donation received by the welfare of the community they will do okay nyaya panchayat now we are going to study about the nyaya panchayat nyaya panchayat is a appointed by the appointed by the village panchayat it is responsible for providing justice at the local level however it can here only the minor cases such as those theft and trespassing it is a very simple you know the big big like suppose if any murder case is there that that will be not be solved in the nyaya panchayat only some theft or you can say that coyote will be there so that only can be solved in the uh, what called nyaya panchayat okay it is only set up for the criminal proceedings forward okay you can say any justice you want to get justice you have to get to go to the nyaya panchayat then next next one is what that also it only authorizes imposes fine and not not any kind of imprisonment it, it is imposing fine only not kind of any kind of imprisonment it is given it is imposing fine on the particular people now next is that importance of the panchayat raj we are going to study and the over the years the panchayat raj has strengthened the democratic spirit in india okay the panchayat raj has become very strong in india it has been successful in promoting the people participation at the local level the now in the local level only the people are able to participate and make and form government it has reduced the burden of the central and the state government governance now it has reduced a lot it has reduced the burden of the central and the state government also it has helped the people gain the knowledge and the experience in resolving their local problems on their own in the affordable and anonymous manner so it has worked hard in order to uh, means uh, you get justice okay in the local level now value corner what is written there you see that in the gram panchayat one third seats have been reserved for women to ensure the participation in the decision making however many of the families around the disorders and the participation of the women in the discussion of their home do you think it is correct now you have to means uh, discuss the reasons in there you have to think out it and uh, you just see in the next class what do you think about it case study if you say then as we know that women have already been kept in the decision making process this exclusion began to the change only with the success of women suffrage movement when women protested that they also want the equal right in the society okay because as we know that that the women has also got the equal status in the society however things do not change much in the rural areas of the country some rural areas like village area they say that this is girl they cannot do anything okay the boys are only meant to do the works you can say women were often exploited as in gap in the decision making process thus in 1992 the constitution of india mandated the reservation of one third seats of the women in the panchayat that in 1992 the reservation was made on the women seat okay as a result the participation of the women in the politics has considerably improved okay in the same way the participation of the women have been improved a lot the inclusion of the women in the politics is considered as important growth resolving social issues such as child marriage and the literacy of the women when the women got the power they have used 
the power in order to establish peace in the society now child marriage is stop also you can say women are educated a lot okay once where the questions given below as you know that you go, you can uh, go question okay so students i hope that you understood the explanation of the chapter if you have doubt or something you can explain uh, means ask me next class i will try to show you animation okay and give you the question answers so till then take care thank you bye bye everyone